To have a better control over the loops that we have already seen, Java provides a certain control statements. So let us see what a control statement is and what are the type of control statements that are available. It says that a control statement enables us to change the sequence of execution of a program. How it says is that normally a program would run step by step. But if you want to stop a program to run from a particular step or if you want to skip a particular statement, then these control statements will help you to perform certain actions. You have two types of these statements which are break and continue. What break does here is that break keyword is normally provided inside the loop. If you provide this keyword inside the loop, it will terminate the execution of the program there itself and come outside the loop. In the second case, which is continuous statement, it shall skip that particular portion at that point of time and then go back to the next iteration. In any of these case, the object references which has been created will destroy at that particular point of time. So let us see in detail about each of these control statements, how they control the loops that we have created like do while loop, while loop, for loop. You have another case also which is called switch case. We will see in the going forward chapter what does this switch case does.